For this project, you're going to create a collage, but before you start working on the collage, you need to start with what you're going to create as your drawing. For my drawing, I created a Starbucks cup with a hand holding it. Now some of the details might get lost with the collage, but that's okay. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm just adding Sharpie to my drawing so it will help me see the outline. And then I'm going to be transferring my image over to a piece of heavier material that is heavier than printer paper. You can use cardboard or um, foam poster board if you want to do this method, or you could do your collage right on your paper. I'm choosing to trace mine over so that I can keep my reference image of my drawing right here separate so that I can look back at it as I'm adding details with my collage. I'm using Sharpie just to trace over my pencil so that I can see the lines that I want to keep. Um, there's a lot of pencil going out of my drawing so that's why I'm sharpieing. If you can see your details you don't need the sharpie. But when I do finish the sharpie what I'm going to do is flip over my paper and do a graphite transfer. What a graphite transfer is is I'm taking a graphite stick but what if you don't have a graphite stick you can use your pencil. You just have to keep sharpening it. Now I'm tracing over wherever I see that sharpie and that's why I did the sharpie on the front because it bleeds through the printer paper so it makes it easier for me to see where I need to put that graphite. The graphite is what's in your pencil so it does get messy when you put your fingers on it. You're going to load up the back of your paper for this graphite transfer. Then you're going to take whatever it is that you're working on. So I'm working on a piece of um, chipboard which is very um, thicker than the piece of printer paper so it will hold up better to my glue. Now I'm going to tape it down so that while I trace my image, so now I'm going back over my image with a pen. This is going to help me see the difference of where I just already drew. So the blue pen I'm going to trace over and what's happening is that the graphite on the back of the paper is now transferring to my canvas and you can see it right there. So now I'm going to put this in hyperspeed. If it seems like it's not showing up you might need to put more graphite on. Now with distance learning you do not need to do these following steps of transferring it to a piece of cardboard if you don't want to. You can work on your piece of paper that you drew your image on. Once you're done creating your transfer now you're going to work on putting in your collage. So I'm using magazines that I have laying around for my artwork. I keep everything in a Ziploc bag so it stays nice and organized. So I have my reference image right here where I did some planning of colors that I'm going to want. So that when I'm flipping through a magazine I know what I'm looking for. So like these photos uh, that have a lot of purple, I'm actually doing a violet drink from Starbucks because I absolutely love Starbucks so I have to do an artwork involving something that I like. So I'm cutting out the colors that I want in bulks. It's okay if they're not all perfect tones. That's totally fine. That's the best part about collage is collaging everything together. Now I'm also going to show you real quick on how to glue down your pieces of paper so it doesn't come on up. When you're looking for pieces of paper, you can use magazines, you can use paint chips, you can use construction paper, whatever you have laying around. In my classroom, we would usually use magazines. Now, when you're cutting out your images, you want to start organizing them and thinking about the colors that you need. You do not need to cut every single color at a time. You can work on one color. So right here, I'm working with purple, and then I move on to different colors so that you don't have a giant pile of scraps laying around your house. Work with one color at a time. Definitely try to keep them in a Ziploc bag or a shop and shop bag. Now I'm working with any type of glue. If you have a glue stick, liquid glue, that's perfectly fine. But what you're going to need to want is create your own glue station, which is what I have to the right of my artwork. I'm putting the liquid glue on it and then I'm going to take another piece of paper and it's going to act like a squeegee and I'm going to squeegee that glue right across. What that's going to do is create a nice flat surface of the glue so that when I go to put this onto my piece of artwork it's nice and smooth and I'm going to smooth it down. That's the trick with collaging is doing that glue station so that your papers stay down and they don't come on up. Now with cutting your pieces of paper you want to cut them small. You don't want that piece of paper that's purple in my hand, right hand, I'm not going to just glue that one piece down. I'm going to cut it up into little strips and glue it down. I'm also going to play with the way that lighting is hitting my object. So I'm going to go from light to dark. That's where you see the pencil mark where I put the word light. I'm going to try to make it look like the light is hitting that side of the cup. So the lighter color of purple will be on that side and it will get darker to a darker value of purple on the other side. Now I'm going to put this in hyperspeed to show you how I create my collage. 
Remember to be using that glue station because that really helps keep your papers laying flat down. Now I'm going over and working with one color during the day. Now I do take breaks and I do work on this on multiple days. So definitely take some breaks with this. You do not need to cut your pieces as small as me, but you'll notice by adding these very small colors and adding different variations of colors, it's really bringing my artwork together. So try it out. Try finding different shades of colors. You can notice that there are some purples that have pink in it. That's okay. I do use rectangles for most of the shapes that I cut out with my pieces of my collage. Now when working on the logo for the Starbucks it was very hard to cut that small so I ended up making a choice of covering the whole logo but I was still using the light to dark green to show that there is a light source coming from that direction. Now for the final product I actually end up using yellow for the background and changing out the rectangle and having a motion move around it. This is my final product. I could always go in and add details to the logo of the Starbucks cup and or add more yellow to the background. But then again, this is where I'm at right now. Art can always be pushed further. So if you have any questions or want to talk about what you, your plan is for your collage, feel free to email me and or sign up for those office hours. Cannot wait to see what you create.